everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make a lovely vinaigrette. This is a Napa Valley pomegranate white balsamic vinaigrette. Now I'm making a gorgeous salad tonight. It's a green salad with pomegranate and apple and uh, this is going to go on top of that salad tonight. But this would be a lovely dressing for just about any other nice green salad you could think of too. All right, so let's get started on this salad dressing for our salad tonight. So here we go. I'm going to use a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper, some chili flakes. I always like to use dry mustard. Well, not always, but I like most of the time to use dry mustard. I just like the flavor and I like the consistency. It also thickens up my um, vinaigrettes very nicely. So a little bit of that, maybe half a teaspoon. Now tonight I'm using a really gorgeous balsamic vinegar. This is Napa Valley's pomegranate white balsamic. It's from Wine Country Kitchens. You can check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com. Beautiful line of balsamic vinegars, and this is their white variety. This is a lovely, lovely uh, balsamic from Modena. It has a pomegranate flavor. It's a beautiful, bright, uh, tangy nature to it, and it's gonna go lovely with this vinaigrette tonight. So I'm using that. I'm using some grapeseed oil tonight. Now, instead of using olive oil, because olive oil has a little bit uh, stronger flavor. Grapeseed has a very neutral flavor and I really want this pomegranate white balsamic to stand out. I'm also using, instead of using honey or another sweetener like that, I'm using an orange syrup. Now I did candied orange slivers, make sure you check out that recipe. And this is my um, orange syrup that's left over. So I think it'll be a nice combination to go with it instead of using some kind of citrus, right? Fuck, Kimberly. Start over again. One more again. So tonight I'm using a lovely balsamic vinegar. This is Napa Valley Pomegranate White Balsamic. It's from Wine Country Kitchens. Make sure you check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com. They have a beautiful line of these balsamics. Um, and this is the white variety they have. The other ones are the darker one. It's a little bit thicker consistency than some balsamics. It has a beautiful pomegranate flavor. It's bright, it's tangy, and it's nice and sweet. So it's gonna be lovely with our vinaigrette tonight. So a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna add a little bit of my vinegar now. Maybe a tablespoon. Make sure you check out my review on this stuff. Lovely. So instead of using honey tonight in my vinaigrette, I'm actually using an orange syrup. Now I made candied orange slivers the other day. Make sure you check out that recipe at the show. Beautiful recipe. But this is the syrup that's left over after and I'm just going to use a little bit of that. Maybe a tablespoon. That's gonna sweeten it up nicely. But you can use honey or agave nectar. Now I'm gonna use grapeseed um, oil tonight because it's a neutral oil. You could use canola if you want. You could use any kind of oil. Um, I didn't want to use olive tonight as I usually would because um, I don't want it to overpower the flavor of this beautiful balsamic that I want to feature. So I'm going to use roughly three parts uh, to the one part of vinegar. So about three tablespoons. Um, some freshly picked parsley from my garden. I'm just going to mince that up. If you'd like to use a clove of garlic, feel free. Into my bowl. And I'm also going to use the juice of half of a lime. Now that syrup is a little bit tangy and citrusy, but it's not nearly as tangy as I would like my vinaigrette to be. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that, just a tiny bit, because we did use that pomegranate vinegar. All right, so we're gonna whisk this all up. That mustard is gonna help emulsify everything and keep it together. I'm just gonna taste it. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mm-hmm. Boy, I can't wait to put that on my, on my salad. It's perfect, too. And there you go, it's a little bit pinkish in color. I guess you can't really see. I'll take a picture. Um, but it has those nice flecks of parsley in it. Oh, that's good. It's a little bit more spice, that's what I like. A little bit of chili, and a little bit more pepper. Now, if you want to use just more of the vinegar, feel free for the tang. Um, if you don't want to use lime, or you can use lemon. Mm. Delicious. 
So let's see how it goes on our salad. Okay, so now my salad is assembled and we're ready to try this vinaigrette out. So let's serve up some salad. Make sure you get a little bit of everything, a little bit of the cheddar, a little bit of the apple, some pomegranate. Ooh, gorgeous. A little piece of cheddar right there. All right, a little bit of that dressing. That looks awesome. Now I wouldn't be upset with that for a lovely side salad. It's colorful, it's exciting, it's going to be super tasty. Can't wait. All right. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure I try a little bit of everything. Mm. What can I say? This is an absolutely delicious salad. Mm. You get that nice sweet pop of the pomegranate arrows with the seeds inside are a little bit crunchy. The apple is nice, it's nice and sweet. The cheddar mixes perfectly with it. The lettuce is nice and crisp. A little bit of nasturtium hits a little bit of a peppery note. Really, really tasty. The dressing, sweet, delicious, savory, just right. My goodness. Mmm, mmm. That is delicious. The dressing coats everything beautifully. It stayed together nice with the dried mustard and emulsified it together. You can taste that beautiful pomegranate and then you get the double hit of the little pomegranate arrows in the salad as well. Outrageously good. So nice. Boy, this is a beautiful seasonal salad for the fall. It's a Napa Valley pomegranate white balsamic vinaigrette. So easy. You did it at home, it's nice and healthy and it's seasonal, okay? It's just the perfect balance of flavors. So that's how you do it, folks. That's how you make a Napa Valley pomegranate white balsamic vinaigrette for a gorgeous green salad with pomegranate and apple. You're gonna love this whole recipe, or you'd love the salad by itself, or the dressing all by itself. It is really that lovely. You could also use that for a beautiful marinade or a basting sauce on the grill. Be outrageous, okay? Make sure you check out Wine Country Kitchens online. They have fantastic stuff, so delicious, makes cooking, an easy job, okay? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E, the capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.